Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about applying SSLs to your websites without having to buy an SSL certificate and a few other little things related to that. So first of all, I'm at killersites.com and you, you can see here, I'm using Chrome, that the site is secure, nice green padlock, HTTPS, S is for secure, secure connection information, blah, 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 secure. That's all cool. Now, if I go to uh, a, another uh, site, killervideostar.com, now you see it's HTTPS as well, S for secure, but it's not green, right? If you click on that, it says, your connection to the site is not fully secure. So what does that mean? That means that even though the site is loaded over a secure connection, and you know that because of the HTTPS here, some parts of the site could be scripts that you link to, could be a CSS file that you link to, could be images, could be video, whatever, is not secure. So how do you figure that out? There's a couple options. One option is you can go to a site like this one here, why not padlock? And you just put in your URL right here, and you say check. So here you go. And it's identified of the 56 items that was loaded in this page, total 56. So, uh, yes, yeah, so this page loaded up 56 items and it said insecure URL, insecure URL. So look at that. The share this link is insecure. It's linking to a JS button on the site. So I have to update this to HTTPS and this has to be WS by the way. And here in secure URL, I have a link to blog.studioweb.com without HTTPS and it's linking to an image. So there's an image in that page and there is a insecure URL, to, a link to a JS file that's making this page not 100% secure, only partly secure. Another way you can check that, you just right click and you go uh, inspect and you're gonna have this uh, the browser tools here and you look here, three errors, one warning. So you click on the errors and it tells you right here, mixed content. The page at killervideostore.com, HTTPS, S means secure, was loaded over HTTPS, hypertext transfer protocol, secure, but requested an insecure image. Blah, 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 see here, right here. So what do I have to do? I have to go and change the URL on this page and make sure it's HTTP, HTTPS. Of course, blog.studioweb has to be secure itself. Now, if I click on that, it tells me what image it's trying to load that's insecure. So the frog image here, so we scroll down, ah, it's this guy right here, insecure. So I would have to go in there in the code, change this to HTTPS, assuming that blog.studioweb is secure. How do we check that? Let's just go to blog. And uh, right now, your connection to the site is not secure. Oh no. But if we go back to uh, type this in, HTTP, S colon slash slash boom. Ah, hold on a second. Your connection site is not fully secure. Same type of thing. So you go right click, inspect. See here, two errors. It tells me it's this these things here. It's a few images, a JPEG, a PNG, another PNG. Chrome says, eh, this is a warning, that's terrible. But here the share this the share this thing again is causing problems. Again, this is a script of JS. JS is short for JavaScript that uh, sets up social media sharing buttons. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to update this. When these sites were set up, they weren't set up under HTTPS. They were set up just unsecure. But these days, Google and the search engine, well, Google, they want everything to be HTTPS, it's more secure. So you're gonna to have to secure everything. You gotta make sure all the resources that are connecting to a web page, JS files, CSS files, images, et cetera, et cetera, they all have to be under a secure URL. And you have to indicate in the code that it's an HTTPS, not HTTP, right? HTTP has to be HTTPS. And there you go. Now, how do you get the free certificate? The free certificate, you can buy a SSL, and the price is 20, 20 a year, 25 a year, depending. Or you could use something called Let's Encrypt. So here I've loaded up the uh, control panel for uh, Killer Video Store, no, Killer Sites. And if you scroll down, you see Let's Encrypt. 
Now this is free SSL. And you see, I already installed it on killer sites. So I just wanted to show you that you can do that. Now, what's the difference between the free Let's Encrypt SSL versus the paid ones? Some people say the paid ones are more secure. I don't necessarily buy that, but I do have both paid and unpaid SSLs. So again, if I click here, we know we are secure. Anyway, I hope that helps. Now you know how to find unsecured items on your web page or in your web pages using either the browser dev tools, which is probably the easiest. Again, right click, inspect. The errors and warnings will be loaded up right here. And then you can go in there and update things as you need to. Or you can use a site like Why No Padlock and it will give you a, maybe a slightly user friendly version. Although I think just using the browser dev tool is probably best. That's it. Oh, by the way, I took down the video on the business book not because I got flagged because there was killer in the title, but because I have enough people to help me uh, beta test this thing. So thanks very much. Bye-bye.